just bumped to a riding club here of Chicago. Let's see the bikes. Uh, street Glide, Canon. What is that? Yamaha. Road. Road Star. It's of Indian? No, it's uh, Yamaha. Yamaha, okay, okay. Nice. Street Glide, Goldwing. Okay, you got us. Starting to miss my bike right now. Today is a Sunday. Sunday ride and bikes missing all the way. <laughs> Morning. It's 9 a.m. right now. Day off again. I have a meeting in the evening. So got to go see the most visited two places here in Chicago. The first is the Sears Tower, the Willis Tower. And the second is the John Hancock 360 Chicago Tower. It's going to be a long walk of two kilometers just for the Sears Tower. Let's walk. Oof, after a walk of more than three kilometers finally just reached the sky deck entrance road this is the sears tower willis tower you need to look at that oh hell it's so tall let's get to the entrance and get to the top two escalators down from sky deck two escalators down You're on your way to the top of the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. Along the way, you can watch as we pass by some of the tallest buildings, monuments, and structures in the world. You're riding up this 1,450-foot modern marble in one of the tower's 104 elevator cars. Your trip to the sky deck will only take about a minute. That means your elevator is traveling at a speed of more than 24 feet per second. The tower opened its doors in 1973 and held the title of the world's tallest building for 25 years. The west antenna reaches 1,730 feet above the Chicago streets. We're now passing 850 feet in San Francisco's Transamerica Pyramid, 970 feet in the Yokohama Landmark Tower, Japan's tallest building, 1,062 feet in Paris's stunning Eiffel Tower, the Bank of China Tower in Hong Kong, 1,250 feet in the Empire State Building in New York, <laughs> And now we're here, 103 stories up. Welcome to the top. <laughs>